This is the Siegler BFN, and it's Siegler's all-new, narrow-spooled big game reel. Today, I'm here to review it. BFN stands for Big Fly Narrow, and Siegler has made a big fly for a while but they introduced this narrow spool design, which is really a lot better for most anglers. It just totally eliminates the need to act as a level wind, which nobody wants to do. Additionally, it allows you to have a bigger reel that picks up line super fast. And that's what this does. But before we get to that spool design, let's start by talking about the drag. As with all Siegler reels, this BFN comes with a lever drag and I'm not going to go into a thorough analysis of this BFN in this video because we've already done the XBF, which is really a more extreme version of this reel. Suffice to say, lever drags are really cool, and if you want one, you're going to be getting a Siegler. In terms of drag strength, this BFN, I would estimate at well over 10 pounds, it's got a lot of drag, but it's really hard to tell with this lever system exactly how high this can go, but it's definitely more than you're ever gonna need for any species you're gonna be catching on a fly rod. In terms of number of turns, well, it doesn't really have that. Instead, you're gonna be using this lever that covers about a third of a turn. Interestingly, like we mentioned in the XBF video, this drag is not advertised as being a sealed drag, but instead is advertised as being field serviceable. So I would make sure that you really, really rinse these reels out after you use them in the salt. Probably you're gonna be fishing from a boat if you're using this reel, so chances of it getting really dunked are low, but still, I'd be careful with any reel that isn't advertised as fully, fully sealed. Up next is the spool, and this BFN, like the XBF, has a really interesting spool design, and you can see it's got sort of this step in the arbor. And I think that's actually great because it allows you to have a little bit of extra backing capacity. It's almost like a reserve capacity there while maintaining that nice narrow spool and that high speed retrieve. So on this reel, we've got a 4.2 inch max diameter, that same nice narrow 0.9 inch width. And then the low step comes in at 2.2 inches, while the high step comes in at 2.95 inches. And that's gonna mean that this is gonna pick up line at about 12 inches per turn, probably a little bit less than that, which is really quite fast. You're getting a full foot per turn or 100 turns for that 100 foot fly line out of each revolution. And that's really pretty fast, especially for a reel that doesn't actually feel that massive. In terms of backing capacity, this reel gets pretty interesting. Sealer says it holds 175 yards of 60 pound braid. I'm not sure why they decided to go with those numbers. We've calculated it at somewhere around the 175 mark with 30 pound Dacron. Probably though, you're gonna wanna put something like 40 pound Power Pro on this reel and you can just double that number. So 300, 350 yards of 40 pound Power Pro with an 11 weight line. And I think the choice of line weight on this reel is really interesting as well. Siegler calls this a 10 to 12 weight reel. And while you can definitely fit a 12 weight on here with a Power Pro style braid, chances are you're gonna wanna use this for more of a nine to 11 weight range. It's gonna cover your permit tarpon fishing really, really well. But I don't think this is really gonna dip into the giant tarpon GT category unless you really want it to. Up next is the weight, and this reel comes in at 11.1 ounces, which definitely puts it more towards the big game reels. When we did our big game shootout, this would come in a little bit on the high side. Definitely not the heaviest reel, which goes to the Mako, but this reel is heavy, and it's heavier than reels like the Hatch and the Nautilus. So if you're looking for lightweight, you're probably gonna wanna look someplace else. Up next is the sound, and well, let's have a listen. As you can tell, it's got a silent retrieve, which is definitely not my favorite, but if you're into that, you've got it here. On the outgoing, one thing I thought was interesting is that this reel is much more muted than the XBF was. I definitely preferred the louder, more aggressive click 
on the larger reel than on the smaller one. But it's still totally fine and does give you some nice feedback. Last but not least is ergonomics. And I won't dive super deep into it because we've already done that in our other video, but this lever drag is great. It's really easy to adjust and especially easy if you wanna dial in a precise drag. On the handle end, we've got a really nice wide diameter handle that's easy to grip. It's a really solid big game handle. One downside of course is we really don't recommend using extra spools with this reel. It's just too complicated to change and definitely not something you're gonna wanna do on the water. If you have another line that you like to fish, get yourself another reel or switch it out the night before using something like the SA regulator. And that brings us to our final point, which is the price. And at $1,500, it is high. It's not quite as high as the XBF, but this is a smaller reel that has a lot more competition out there. Overall, I think this is a really great reel, but it is fairly specialized. If you are not used to a lever drag or you don't want a lever drag, you shouldn't buy this reel. If you want something that's really unique, has tons and tons of performance and offers you the flexibility of a lever drag, this reel is tough to beat. And in fact, it's the only option out there. Tell us what you think about lever drags by leaving us a comment in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we've got a lot of great reel reviews coming right up. And if you've got questions, we've got answers, give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.